Ngayon po ay kasama po natin ang ating pong oncologist at ang CEO and President of Asian Breast Center. Walang iba kundi si Dr. Norman San Agustin. Good morning, Dr. Your service. Good morning, good morning. Yes, Doc, from our previous episodes, napag-usapan na po natin yung other stages po of breast cancer care. At ngayon po pag-uusapan din natin po yung isa sa pinaka-importanting stage din po ng breast cancer care, which is yung breast cancer surveillance. Doc, pwede niyo po ba kami i-walk through dito po sa breast cancer surveillance. Ano po ba ito, Doc? At gaano ito ka-importante para po dun sa mga nakakomplete na ng kanilang treatment for breast cancer? Uh, uh, you've probably heard me in the past uh, having mm -hmm. mentioned that uh, although breast cancer management starts with a knife, it definitely does not end with a knife. You know? mm -hmm. And uh, itong unfortunate uh, situations where you hear friends and relatives and neighbors who've had breast cancer 20, 15, 10 years ago, and they thought they were already cured from cancer, and now all of a sudden they're de dying from a new uh, set of cancer cells within, the, within their bodies. Ang ibig sabihin na ito, yung kasabihan din na gusto kong pahihwating sa inyo natin nanonood, that you can be cancer-free today, but you're never free from cancer. Ang ibig sabihin nyo, kung nagkaroon kayo ng cancer, ginamot kayo, nawala yung cancer, magaling na kayo ngayon, mm -hmm. hindi ibig sabihin nun, hindi na babalik yung cancer, no? Mm -hmm. Because the cancer could either come back to the same uh, breast that you had the cancer before, kahit na namastectomy na po kayo, tandaan ninyo, nanggagaling po yung cancer cells sa natural cells sa katawan ninyo. Mm -hmm. Pag may total mastectomy kayo, tinanggalin yung buong breast ninyo, hindi ibig sabihin nun, wala na kayong uh, breast ka cells na iiwan doon, no? Yes. Hindi pwede yun kasi kung hindi, wala yung skin niyo, wala yung subcutaneous tissue niyo. Pag pag tagal ng damit niyo, nakikita po yung ribs niyo. Hindi naman po ganoon yung mga mastectomy. Mm -hmm. Mukhang natural, mukhang mukhang breast na lalaki po, no? So may naiiwan na cancer cells doon at pwede maging cancer ulit. And second, mm -hmm. we talked about 20% of women who have developed breast cancer uh, have family history of breast cancer. In other words, genetic po yun, ano? Uh -huh. So Sino pinakamaganak, pinakamalapit na kamaganak uh, sa taong nakakasir? Hindi lang po yung, yung kapatid nila, yung twins nila, mas malapit sila. Pero yung kabilang breast, yun ang pinakamalapit yes. sa kanila, no? So kung nakakasir po yung kaliwa, malaki posibilidad na babalik ang kasir. Hindi babalik, pero yung kanan ninyo, magkakakasir din, no? Kanya, itandaan ninyo, and case in point, cases in point, are uh, popular na popular na siguro paborito niyo yung singer so Olivia Newton-John mm -hmm. o itong Susan Summers na Trees Company na parang si Marlon Monroe noong panahon niya at uh, siya din po kamukha ni, ni uh, Olivia Newton-John nagka-cancer bumalik po after mga 20 years and namatay sila after a few years you know? mm -hmm. so yun po ang sinasabi ko sa inyo huwag kayong magpababaya na pag nagka-cancer kayo Kaya yung problema dito sa mga ibang mga klinika na pag in ka na ng doktor, binayaran mo na siya, iba na nagtatake over dito at hindi patuloy yung care nila, hindi ba? O pinapamayubaya sa mga medical colleges, magaling sila. Pero ang responsible dito, pag in ninyo, importante rin po patuloy yung pag-survey sa kanila. And now going back to your question, anong ibig sabihin ng surveillance? Yes, ano? mm -hmm. uh, kasi there are correctable uh, things that you can do to mm -hmm. reduce the chance of developing recurrences. Mm -hmm. And there's some that you have no control of, you know. Pero, uh, tandaan ninyo, yung one of the ma major causes of breast cancer is lifestyle, you know. At mga mga babae ngayon, most of them are professional. Yes, and I yeah. hate to admit, uh, kanya, karamihan sa inyo, nagsusot ng pantalon, Kasi ang away sa bahay, kung sino dapat magsuot ng pantalon. <laughs> because very often, the, 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 the husbands become uh, the uh, take, caretaker for the children. Mm -hmm. Silang the dad, mom sila. Uh, at yung mga nagtatrabaho ngayon na kimikita, uh, it's not infrequent for it's the women who uh, would do that. Kanya hindi na tayo patriarchal society, it's matriarchal, ano? At kailangan nyo maintindihan ito na kailangan alagaan nyo sarili nyo kahit na ilang taon na kayo nakasakit o hindi pa kayo nakakasakit. At uh, yung lifestyle nyo, importante, na may, like, in one of the causes of increased incidence of breast cancer among women is exactly that. You, a woman's lives, as uh, you probably, maybe the two of you are case in point, sir. Cases in point. Uh, na, we become so westernized, and lifestyle natin is very, very western. So, anang ngayon, uh, 
affected kayo, kahit yung mga uh, hormonal cycles niyo affected mm -hmm. din sa mga Westerners, uh, you're more concerned about profession than you are about family. You have late families. You work uh, on your profession first before you think of having family. So late ang incidence. Kaya yung uh, in vitro fertilization yun, napaka-popular, ano? Kasi many of you start, decided to have children at a very late age. Yes. At uh, that's one negative point na mas mataas ang chance niyo makakancer. In breastfeeding niyo aras wala na. Hindi naman sa hindi niyo kayo pwede, hindi niyo kaya. Pero yung problema, uh, wala kayong panahon mag-breastfeed. Maaris kayo pa agad para makapagtrabaho. Yung profession niyo bumabalik kayo. Mm -hmm. So all of these things they take into consideration. Mental health, for example, stress. Yes. And then one of the number one killers, po yan, one of the highest instances of recurrence is due to stress. Mm -hmm. And ilan, alam ko hindi kayo na-stress pareho, pero... <laughs> <laughs> pero stress, puro -puro stress ako puro-puro ako nangangat niyo, nangangamot ako palagi pag nakikita niyo ako. Um, and there's so much stress, you know? Uh, so you must think it like this. You should think uh, a lot of put a lot of importance in this in your the way you conduct your life, you know. Yes. Kung ka, the more it's important for you to take care of this, you know. So ano ibig sabihin ng surveillance? That means first of all, you follow up in your okay, important. Yeah. Yeah. We 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 follow our own set based on some of the studies in the mm -hmm. United States. But you can develop your own, you know. But the, the treatment doesn't end with a knife, you okay? know. You need to follow up your patient, you know, because higher chance of getting cancer, you know, cancer, you know. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you follow up visits, you know. You know? Yes. That's yes. you know? what it continues, you know. What I usually do is I follow them uh, for five years and very closely, and then after that, it's back to once a year check up, you know. Okay. Dok, Mas, nabanggit po ninyo na bumabalik, pwede nga pong bumalik itong cancer natin, kaya napaka-importante nung breast cancer surveillance. Pero ano-ano po ba yung mga types nitong breast cancer surveillance na meron tayo? Well, uh, yung, again, you, you go to the same same uh, choices, you know, yung steps, yung mm -hmm. natawag nyo ng steps for in the man complete management of breast cancer, you know, surveillance being the first, but you go back to the first, which is screening, mm -hmm. the uh, diagnosis, and management, you know. So, ibig sabihin nun, uh, yung follow-up, yung mammogram nyo, mammogram. You, uh, yung mammogram or ultrasound, or in the thermolytics uh, na pinapromote you know, namin ngayon, uh, any of those things, uh, yung, yung, yung opposite breast mo should be like it, you never had, she never, you know, the patient never had cancer before. Mm -hmm. So, yung annual follow-ups uh, of normal breast nila, kailangan should be conducted. In other words, mm -hmm. once a year, they should have their mammogram. Breast self-examination, extremely important, you know. Mura-mura, kasi alas sinisigil mo sarili mo, you should do that uh, once a month, you know, uh, mm -hmm. once a month, usually two weeks after the first day of your last period. Pagkatapos doon, yung mga do's and don'ts, ano? Yeah. Yung tinatawag namin, tinatawag namin breast cancer prevention, ano? Or breast cancer uh, preventive measures, ano? Ano ibig sabihin nun? Yung lifestyle nyo, kinakain mm -hmm. niyo yung mm -hmm. dapat gawin nyo, hindi ginagamit, ano? Monitoring nyo. So, some of the things that are important, ano? Kung anong kinakain mo. Yung paboritong pagkain ng breast cancer, pag yun ang kinakain mo, pina ang ginagawa mo, pataba ka, ha? Iha! Yeah. Mag mag magpalaki ka, at pwede ka kumanat sa ibang pati ng katawag ko, pag, uh, pag lumaki ka na. You, you want to avoid that, ano? So, what do you do, no? Yung uh, lifestyle mo, you should be... You, this is like stress-free, no? But minimize the stress in your life. And know how to handle the stress, mo, no? So your mental health is very, very important. If you need to see a psychologist, psychiatrist, or whatever, yoga is a very uh, yes, good alternative. Yeah. If you can do that, that can be very, very helpful for you. Yung kinakain mo, paborito pa kain ng kanser, matataba at matatamis. Matamis. Oh, Filipino, bakit matas ang insignia niyo? Lechon, lempo, sicharon. Nako, papadala kayo ng birthday card ng kanser siya sa katawan niyo. Salamat po. Padala mo binyo. Maraming ito. Lechon, lempo, sicharon. At saka yung matatamis. Ako, paborito, paborito naman. Ano yun? Halo-halo, leche flan, at ice cream. Nako, kung paborito niyo, Okay yan. Magintay lang kayo ng ilang taon. Baka makakaroon kayo ng... <laughs> Talk about naman yung mga breast self exams and clinical exams. Kasama yeah. rin po ito sa surveillance po. Tama po ba, Doc? Oh, it should be all your life. The minute you have developed a bud, yung nipple, but lumaki na lang na konti. Okay, Doc. Pasimula na yung, uh, yung monthly breast self examination. Mm. And talking about that, Doc, yung, uh, yung pag-e-exam naman natin, every year po ba dapat bumabalik tayo sa doctor natin once na halawa? Galing uh, sa must, breast cancer, nag-survive yeah. tayo. Must, must, must. Every year. 
Well, I'm even more frequent. In the first uh, three years, uh, I should be even more often than that. Pero, Dok, babalik po tayo dun sa surveillance na ginagawa natin. Dok, halimbawa, ako, nag-treat ako sa breast cancer, eh, through mastectomy or yung pagtanggal po talaga ng breast ko. Iba po ba yung klase ng surveillance or yung clinical exam na ginagawa for breast cancer surveillance sa mga nag-mastectomy kesa dun sa mga mm -hmm. hindi naman tinanggala ng breast? No, no, no. The, the fact is, did they have or they did not have cancer, no? Mm -hmm. Yung stage nila, yung, yung uh, anong, anong treatment binigay sa kanila is immaterial, no? The fact, cancer is cancer, is cancer, is cancer, no? So, itong mga choices na ito, it doesn't depend on what type of cancer, how much you spent, and how you're doing now, no? Importante lang na meron kang plan in terms of surveillance, you know? Yung mga lahat ng mga uh, pasyente mo nagkaroon ng cancer, kailangan, they should have a standardized type of care, and then you modify it according to their needs, you know? By the way, uh, I just said just a very brief comment dito, no? Uh, the way I was trained, I was trained as much as possible, do not remove the breast okay. if you can do yes. it. You know? yes. And there's many ways to do that. Kung medyo, medyo malaki yung cancer, you, ang problema kasi dito, ang mga babae, naghihintay sila matagal, malaki yung breast, mass, bago nagpapatingin. It's, ang treatment nito, choice, is always the location of the tumor, kung malapit sa nipple o hindi, because you, have, you should preserve the nipple. And then the second thing that's very, very important is, kung malaki yung tumor, maliit yung breast, hindi pwedeng gawin, no? Kung, mal kung maliit yung tumor, kahit ano size yung breast, madaling i-preserve ang breast. And, uh, and doctors, in yung, uh, please, you know, if one, one uh, important message that I want to leave to everyone, buddy, that the, your survival depends, your prognosis, your survival, depends not on the type of surgery, it depends on the stage of your disease, you know? Mm -hmm. oh, kung, kung early disease ka, kahit yung kapitbahay niyo, hindi doktor, inoperahan ka, mabubuhi ka pa rin, you know? yeah. At uh, kahit na sa, yeah, of course, I'm exaggerating, pero importante lang dito, mm -hmm. ang prognosis mo depends on your stage of your disease. You know? Kaya, bakit doon tayo pinatanggal ng breast? Ang liit-liit ng, liit -liit ng tumor. Laki-laki ng breast mo. Ngayon, natanggal yung breast. Naiwin yung cancer. Natanggal, natanggal nga yung cancer, pero natanggal yung buong breast mo. Hindi naman kailangan natanggalin yun. And ang, ang sagot nila, kasi po binigyan na, number one, binigyan ako ng choice ng aking ng doktor. Hindi naman masama, hindi naman masama yun. No? Pero ang importante, I was left with the impression that the more you take out, the better it is for you. Oh, yun Very na yung So after naman itong mga physical exams natin or itong mga um, exams na ginagawa natin, clinical exams, meron po ba tayo dito naman sa Philippines yung mga imaging naman, yes. yung mga imaging modalities na pwede natin malaman. Example, nag-physical exam ako or kaya nag-tira pa ako yung sa sarili ko, eh may na nakapa ako. Ano po ba yung mga susunod na mga imaging modalities na meron tayo sa Philippines na pwede okay. kong itry? Don't forget, yung normal breast mo na hindi natin operahan, just because you had surgery on the, uh, uh, on the other breast, doesn't mean that you should neglect it and form different rules for that particular breast. You know? mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that means, uh, particularly if you're over the age of 35, you should go back to the old mm -hmm. rule. 35 and above, you should have annual mammographies. You know? mm -hmm. the, uh, ngayon, yung opposite breast mo, uh, Kung hindi tinagal yung buong breast, usually in the first uh, two years, we do that as often as twice a year, no? Because mm -hmm. the chance of cancer recurring in that breast is higher. Okay. Uh, pero yung, yung routine uh, mammography screening is the same, ano? Ngayon, if you take something like uh, thermolytics, ano, that we use as heat uh, instead mm -hmm. of retin, the exposure to x-ray is very is zero. Zero. Exposure. Therefore, if you use that every day, of course, I'm, I'm joking, you know, yeah, but, but there is absolutely no risk yes, and the cost is very, very low mm -hmm. and it, does, it totally disregards the restriction regarding age because there's no cumulative uh, exposure to red yes. or x-rays that could lead to cancer, you yes. know. Mm -hmm. So, ito, if, you, if you're somebody who worries too much and causes a lot of stress and buhay mo and you want your, your screening, you certainly, even if you're in a younger age, you certainly sh should be able to provide yourself with that assurance and you mm -hmm. probably can have it a minimum of at least once a year kahit na medyo bata ka kung nakaroon ka na ng breast cancer, mm -hmm. no? Uh, pero usually, yung usual once a year lang and uh, screening, uh, particularly if you're over the age of 35, should be followed, you know? How about the, the ultrasound po? Mm -hmm. Yun. Yun ito nga sinasabi ko, so, mabuti ka nakakaintindi ka, no? Yung ibang hospital, yung mga clinics, hindi na naintindihan, ano? 
itong mammogram, yes, ultrasound, so. thermolytics, thermolytics. Uh, MBI, uh, MRI, magnetic resonance, CT scan, PET scan, lahat ito are under the category of screening. Screening. And the screening answers only one question. Probability. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ang next step, it's so foolish for you to do a mammogram, an ultrasound, a PET scan, and an MRI, and yeah. like that. Gagamit mo lahat. Yes. Because it, lahat ng, ng sagot mo doon, kasi so, ba hindi, ewan ko. E mm. para yung test ko, well, I can now give you a comparison of the probability kung mas ma ma likely may yes. cancer ka wala. But it's still the same question, you know? Meron ba akong cancer o wala? Hindi ko alam. Ano may probability ba? Ah, oo, oh, mas mataas dito ang mammogram kesa sa ultrasound, mm -hmm. o mas, 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 mas mataas dito sa MBI kesa sa mammogram. You only comparison the same field. Hindi ka na wala pa rin sagot, ano? Apo. Kanya yung taong mga doktor na nagko-question dito sa validity nitong thermolytics, for example, this thing has been proven by different FDAs throughout the world, you know? Mm -hmm. Pagkatapos yung studies nila by the, by the thousands na effective ito, at yung, uh, yung uh, inferiority uh, value nito is non-inferior itong test na ito. Bakit ka gagasos sa malaki-malaki pera when all you want to find out what your probability, what your risk factors are? Mm -hmm. Kung meron kang risk factor at uh, yung, yung reading mo sa thermolytics, for example, is high, let's say, by B, B4, B5, Ang ibig sabihin nun, you should move on to the next step. Anong next step? Diagnosis. Diagnosis, isa lang ang tasagot dito, biopsy. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Bakit mo ulitin yung parehong information na bibigay sa'yo? You move forward to biopsy. If a biopsy, kung positive, the treatment. Sure. Yung treatment na yun, um, tapos yung treatment mo, surveillance. Ano? Mm. So, ito pinapayawatan nyo dito, napaka-importante. But you can use that talk yung mammograms, yung ultrasound, para po sa breast cancer surveillance. Surveillance, important yun. Oh. Because surveillance is essentially going back to step zero, no? Oh. Oh. Hmm. Parang screening din siya. Screening din Definitely, siya. that's exactly okay. what it is. Oh. But Doc, ito, um, I'm sure siguro po Doc, ano, na you have encountered some cases na nagkaroon po ng abnormality during detection po ng kanila pong surveillance po. Ano, ano po Doc, yung usual process na ginagawa nyo kapag po merong na-detect po na abnormality dun sa breast po ng isa pong pasyente? Again, abnormality means that it's not cancer. It's just mm. abnormal. Yes. So again, first step, uh, the, 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 the fourth step for breast cancer. So for screening, you can get diagnosis. Good diagnosis. Diagnosis is seeing a doctor for consultation, find out okay. whether the probability is high. If it's high, then the next step is to prove okay. that it is not okay. cancer. If it's cancer, then you take it to the next step, which okay. is treatment. Should you start with chemotherapy or or uh, surgery or radiation, mm -hmm. and then and then you go ahead with your treatment, and then when you're completed, it's comes your surveillance yeah. again, no? How about doc, the I know the you false positive naman doc and yung true recurrence. Pa paano po natin madistinguish during the step of uh, My detecting surveillance? Follow up. Follow up. Follow up. And yung value. Kung 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 Mm -hmm. Pero hindi naman magaling yung mga radiologist ninyo, yung mga doktor, yung hospital, or whatever, no? Ang yung ano, yung pag na-miss yung false negative, malaking presyo yung babayaran mo doon. It's beyond cash, you know? It's uh, it's your life, ano, buhay mo yun, mm -hmm. ano? Kaya misan, uh, maganda yung, uh, wala ka misan ng pera, yung sapatos na binibili mo is size 4, <laughs> pero size 8 ka. <laughs> Bakit mo binili yan? Hindi mo siya kinagamit. Eh, hindi ko pumasuot, sumasakit siya pa ako. <laughs> mm -hmm. Size 8 po ako, yung sapatos na size 4. <laughs> Pero Doc, ito nga po, di ba, meron na tayong mga imaging modalities, mga exams, mga diagnosis na, uh, diagnosis, yung mga para sa treatment, mm -hmm. para ma-detect natin if mayroong breast cancer ang isang patient. Meron pa po ba tayong mga ina-expect na mga, alam niyo, emerging technologies na pwede pang mas makadetect, makatulong sa surveillance nitong breast cancer? Uh, surveillance simply means uh, going back to step one. You know, yeah. That's all it means, you know. And when it comes to latest technology, uh, we have two of the latest technologies, you know, MR, M MBI, Molecular Breast Imaging, which is only the first and only one in the Philippines, you know? Ito nakakatuwa. Ang, ang latest article, you, you, survey, you do it in you, your Google search, you know? Mm -hmm. Sabi nila, one out of every eight breast cancers are, are false negatives to test nila. Namimiss. 
one out of every eight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kahit anong gabi ito mag-testing, ano, ang laki lang ano, ng false negatives. Ano. Kanya, itong test, ikinukumpare nila, for example, ang thermolytics at saka ang mammogram, which is the standard of, um, of uh, screening and management. Ano. Ang pinag-uusapan dito, kung ano yung false negatives at kung when they should move forward and not at the cost. When you consider, yung ano yung kasi, most choices are really in the uh, in, in the screening, you know. Uh -huh. Ang ang basis ko for choosing the right screening test are basically three A's, you know. Uh, accuracy, mm -hmm. uh, availability, and affordability, you know. Mm -hmm. Kung para pareho ang binibigay sa information, probability. Bakit mo pipiliin pipili yung pinakamahal yung test? Yes, you know? true. Kung, kung titignan mo lahat dito, sa Amerika ngayon, one of the newest uh, uh, changes in the breast management is including in the mammographic report yung, uh, yung density ng breast, how dense is the breast. Kasi density, uh, deep density has a higher, a uh, ha a poorer prognosis, more likelihood of cancer, cancer de uh, subsequently developing. You know? Kanya, uh, pero mahal ito, no? It's mm -hmm. almost 15 times the cost of, uh, of the least expensive. Kanya, all you want to do is, kailangan mo biopsy ito. Meron ba siya kailangan makikita, makikita, makikita na kung pwede biopsy na proof of cancer ito. Para early treatment, early diagnosis, early uh, best results, no? So, itong, uh, itong bakit mo pipilin yung, yung test namin, ano? Well, kung marami kang pera, kung yung MB, M, M, MBI sometimes, mula kayo breast imaging, will save you the, the need for biopsy, no? Pero ang, kung positive na sa isang test, huwag mong maulit ng iba-ibang test doon sa mm -hmm. hanggang mabos yung pera mo, no? You move forward to get the mama, ay biopsy. biopsy Saka, so. uh, na-realize ko din na very helpful yung mga katulad po ng Asian Breast Center na Andito na lahat nung kailangan mo na mga tests, tests na to specialize huh? sa breast cancer na hindi ka na kailangan pumunta pa sa ibang mga doctors para matreat ka. Like dito, hindi mo na hindi mo na stressin yung sarili mo para doon sa treatment and management. Of course, yung four pillars nga natin yung breast cancer care. It's very important talaga na meron tayong mga special na mga clinics like this po. No? But talk ito na po, no? kasi meron po tayong mga, syempre, mga breast cancer survivors na mm -hmm. after po nga ng kanilang uh, treatment, uh, parang natatapos na doon, Dok, yeah. na hindi na sila nagkakaroon ng mga follow-ups. Kasi usually, Dok... Yeah. Oh, For doc, example, I'm, I'm sure you're adding your mind to ask this question, you know, what are the side effects of, of surgeries you know, dito? Yeah, yeah. Lalo na yung mahilig ang mga Filipinas to remove the entire breast instead yes, of just... Uh, yeah. And the other thing is they also love to do uh, axillary node dissections, uh, which should not be done without the benefit of, of a central node biopsy. Kasi pag tinanggal mo yung buong breast, pagkatapos nyo din na-date mo, uh, tapos nyo hindi mo nasikaso yung braso, isa nakakaroon sa mga terribly disabling uh, mm -hmm. lymphedema, no? And then, it is part of your surveillance nito, after surgery, so survey mo, kung nagkaroon sila ng mga side effects. Ah, uh, oh, yes. Sa, no? uh, and, yung, so, itong, ano, sometimes, uh, lymphedema, which is a major, major complication of breast cancer mm -hmm. management, kung ito napapabayaan mo at merong signs na makakaroon ka ng lymphedema, sa beginning pa lang, pinabayaan mo, in-ignore mo, this could be terribly, terribly disabling, particularly for people who use their hands as yeah, important work, part, you know, kung artists yeah, sila, kung yes. they, they use uh, their hands for cooking, for doing mm -hmm. other things, uh, kung uh, architects sila or yeah, uh, sculptors yeah. or whatever. Mm -hmm. Now, anything, anything that disable, disables the arm mm -hmm. could be a terrible uh, consequence for, for their lifestyle, no? Quality no, so of life. Wow, life. profession at that. And this is so treatable. Doc, nas, nababanggit nyo na po yan. Baka meron po kayong gusto namang sabihin dun sa yes. mga kababayan natin na dumaras nitong um, pagkakaroon ng breast cancer. And syempre dun sa family nila yung support na kailangan nitong ating mga patient na merong breast cancer. And of course, Doc, to encourage them sa breast cancer surveillance. Yes. Oh, uh, two, uh, two things, you know. Surveillance is after the fact, but let's go back to the basic, you know. Yes, Don't expose yourself to an unnecessary death and unnecessary suffering. And the suffering is not only physical and life-threatening, uh, life but more importantly, financial issues in you, no? But hindi kayo dapat gumasos na malaki para mabuhay, no? Just do the regular standards. Huwag muna kayong pumunta po sa mga alternative treatment hanggang wala na talagang pag-asa. That's important for comfort care, etc., etc psychological welfare and so forth. 
Pero wag mo hindi ko po wag niyo dalhin ang sitwasyon niyo. Don't uh, don't put yourself in that situation, you know, uh, na na you have to face all these problems. It's very easy to at the age of 35, you should have your uh, your initial screening and see a good doctor. Then nakakaintindi na sa sa ano. Pagkatapos noon, sundin niyo yung follow up. Yes. Kung may family history kayo after the age of 35, annual na po 'yon at child follow up is the doctor annual na screening niyo, annual na. At eh, kung wala naman kayong family history, wala kayong risk at normal na naman yung finding nyo, wait five years, you know, wait five, five years to get your next imaging. And at the age of 40, tuloy-tuloy na yun every year hanggang mamatay na po kayo. Kaya ninyo dapat itigil lang ang inyong screening. Well, pag kung nagpapano po kayong mamatay within the next three to five years, ano, wag na kayong magpascreen. <laughs> Pero kung wala kayong paano, paano mamatay within three to five years, Totally po ninyo, magkano na ba yung screening? Yeah, ano? sure. Pwede yung mahal na mahal na 50,000, pwede yung uh, 1,500. Uh, para palelo-palelo lang ngayon, sabi nila, na, na, na ang resulta. No? Kung, kung high yung pang possibility or probability, then get your next step, which is a biopsy. Ayan. At napakahalaga talaga din ng mga medical professionals sa atin treatment at syempre sa prevention no, ng mga ganitong klaseng sakit. But Doc, sa mga gusto pong magpacheck up po sa inyo, saan po ba nila kayo pwedeng matagpuan po? Ewan ko. Ewan ko. advertise my company. Eh. <laughs> Hindi ko sila sabi yung pinakamagaling kami. <laughs> Ako, Doc. Pinasabi lang naman, the only difference between Asian Breast Center and other uh, hospitals yes, is we follow standard of care, no? Yes. Ang ang kanya excited ako with the possible merger with with uh, with another institution, so that people don't have to go to other places yes, like the United States, uh, certainly in uh, Singapore, any other places like that, you know. Uh, perhaps uh, I wouldn't feel bad if you went to the United States to Japan, but the problem ha, yung yung hindi na kaya kalam po nito don. Your standard of care, standard of care, yes. standard of care. Po kung pareho kina ko ang namin dito, hindi na kaya dapat po kailangan po mm-hmm. sa ibang lugar, ano? Yeah. At sa bagay pa kung gusto yung nag sabi ko sabi ko yung ulo na Coca Cola, <laughs> kung hindi niyo Coca Cola kala sa Rusland o sa Tondo o sa sa Singapore o sa Amerika. Coca-Cola pa rin po it's yan, ano? Seven up, ano? It's yes. the same drink, ano? Yes. We can offer you the kind of service yes. that you would expect from other countries. Mm-hmm. At dami namin mga pasyente po. Uh, ang, 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 every year. Like, At uh, malapit pa sa kanila to, oh, di ba? Oh, Dito yeah. lang yan sa 8th floor, Centuria Medical Makati. Dito sa Makati, City, mga uh, excuse, kasambahay. Uh, excuse me, hindi ko siya narinig yun. Ano siya mo? <laughs> dito po sa Makati, City, oh. mga kasambahay. Specifically dito sa 8th floor ng Centuria Medical Makati. <laughs> At syempre, pwede niyo po silang makontakt sa numerong 0917-127-3278 or sa 0917-1BREAST. At ang kanila pong Yun, Facebook page... Pareho na umiri yun, One Breast. Yeah. yeah! And ang kanila pong Facebook page ay Asian Breast Center PH. Once again, thank, thank you, so you so much, much Dr. Po. Norman San Agustin, ang ating on-contest at ang CEO and President of Asian Breast Center.